left some foot and built the lines on that road. <laughs> Who cut your hair? Yeah, the Turks. You have some dodgy the, hair cuts. The Turks. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything we can't mention? I'm not mentioning the price, because I did nick it like. Did ya? Aye. Uh, can we see what they roughly go for if I say that? 18. Uh, they, go for, they go for like 18 right, that, ish. That'll do, that'll do. If I say like, how much is it worth? Aye. Uh, you ready? Aye. All right, fellas, welcome back. I'm here with Dan from On The Limiter. You've been buying this car, Dan, haven't you? Seen it all over your Facebook? Aye, I bought this one. It's probably the fifth or sixth car I've bought since the last video, like. <laughs> you Try, you? Trying to find the ultimate <laughs> ultimate fun machine, but... Uh, what, what is it, Dan? Honestly, when I seen the picture, I was like, oh, Dan's bought a Holden. Right, the bit... Well, it's not, is it? The most common question I've been asked since buying this car is everywhere I've gone, people walk around it, they say that's nice, and then they say, what is it? It pains us to say it's a Vauxhall, because unlike you, Adam, <laughs> I didn't really like Vauxhalls. I don't like this kind of year of Vauxhalls, but I like the older stuff, like the GTEs, the JSIs kind of thing, but the VXRs aren't really my, well, my um, thing, but you know the, cool, like. You know these track days you do where you pay to drive the Ferraris and everything? Uh -huh. Well, about five years ago, I, I took my dad on one. We'd done the driving about in Ferraris, Lambos and that. Uh -huh. And the best part of that day was you got a hot lap in one of these, it was just, I wanted one Someone of the sense. Someone took you out? Aye, it was unbelievable. Absolutely loved it. So they took us around in one of these. Ideally, I wanted a red one, but more important than the colour, I wanted a manual one. How many's in the UK, do you know? Uh, I'm told about 300. Oh, that's uh, more than I thought, mind. Roughly, whether, right. I don't know how many of them's left, like. So if, what is it? It's a Vauxhall, pains to say, a Vauxhall VXR8. But in Australia, this is a HSV Commodore well, a Holden Commodore HSV Club Sport. You've just showed it under the bonnet as well, and on the on the slam panel, the, yep. is it the Vintag? It's, well, it's like a, uh, it, you know, the way your RS500s are numbered and that. If like a limited edition type thing? Aye, basically, every car's got its own number. Oh, right, I didn't know that. So this one, it's badged under there, on that plaque, which I'm sure you'll see, uh, is a VXR8, and it's numbered, but you can see the stickers on top of an HSV uh, plaque. So what engine's in it? Well, can we have a look at the bonnet, Dad? Yep. Sure, Peter. What is it, LS2? It's a LS2. Uh, v8. V8, six litre V8, and it's straight out of a... Yeah, I'll let you do that. Straight out of a Chevrolet Corvette. Is it? Yeah. So that's where you can just kind of see HSV. Ah, uh, just I don't have behind. to go for it, pick it up like, but... So that's build number 273, how many is that? As I say, I'm told there's about 300, oh, and I, but I don't know. It's a big old lump mind, isn't it? Oh, look at them. Has it had I, folds in that one? It has. It's just had two grand spent on Walkinshaw headers. Uh, What's headers? Is that the that's manifolds? Yeah, aye. Uh, so it's just had them. It's got uh, 200 cell cats in, which are coming out. You take the cats out? That's too quiet, man. Well, I wear them in, get some uh, two of them as well. And it's got a full custom exhaust system with the big I think the six before ovals or something at the uh -huh. back. Uh, and it's got a Monkfish 2 cam in it and it's got a little bit of head work and that done. So what kind of power do you think it is? It was rolling roaded before the headers, and I don't know what difference they'll make, but before the headers it was rolling roaded at 478. So, uh, so it could be 500? Could be, I don't All know. Right. I'll find out. All right. We'll be doing that. Big brakes as well, mine down, Brembo's. Huge Brembo's all back. round. Uh, I think the rear Brembo's are bigger than the, the ones I had on the front of my Evo, to be honest. <laughs> Do they squeak over there, all right? No, funny enough, they don't. Nice them, like. So are they the standard wheels? Standard wheels. Standard look at from the outside, apart from the exhausts. Just it's lowered. Lowered, is it? Yeah. It's a big old bus mind, isn't it? <laughs> it takes five minutes to walk around it, man. <laughs> you want to try washing it? When we left your street, it looked like you, you might have slipped on the pedals a bit and it went a bit sideways. There's a diesel spillage at the is bottom of your street. It was like a double deck, it was like a bus behind it, like a double deck bus. Going <laughs> it's like a wave getting, coming at you, man. The size of it, I was going, jeez, can I have a look inside? Wait, I help yourself. Feels Vauxhall, doesn't it? Like the handles and... Oh, you get inside, you do feel like you're in a slightly bigger insignia. Nice though. That is, looks comfortable and... Do you know what I mean? It's in the size like of the steering seats. wheel. Jack Sparrow's ship had a smaller <laughs> wheel than that. Nice seats in that, like. Aye, right. no, they're not bad. Can we go for driving it, Dad? Aye, right, let's go. First time in an American stroke Australian stroke. Is there anything about, oh, the engine's American in it? Yeah, aye. What, you had to start making these engines like, the LS2s? Oh, eh, I think it came out of the 2006 Corvette, but Someone will probably correct us on ah, that. Someone will know. 
big following for these LS engines, isn't that? Huge, we'll put them in all sorts. Okay, see them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if I die! <laughs> Go ahead, Adam. Put them cans well, mind it. <laughs> it's just properly long geared. Mate, you are fearless in a car. Slides <laughs> about a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Surprised you haven't put tyres on the back of it yet, now I know you drive. Not be far off, mate. What kind of mass per gallon do you get out of it? How do you not look? Just fucking... To be fair, if you fill the tank... Aye. Which is 90 quid. Um, is it? Oh, aye. So it must be like an 80 litre tank or something, is it? Must be. But if you park it up for, say, 12 days, you will get two weeks out of it. Oh, like, well, that's all I like, aye. Well, I've got half a tank there and it's reading range 81 miles, believe us, <laughs> you would use the BM. It's hybrid actually, the BM. Half a tank, 81 miles, that's 45 quid, isn't it? Uh, yep. You've got 81 miles for half a tank? Yep. My pepper light comes on at 60 miles <laughs> in the Audi. In fact, it's just north of half a tank, I think, on there. Are they reliable engines, these LS2s? Well, apparently, we'll see uh, by the end of this video, see so if it gets that, us that, back. That. Not nice and comfortable, though, isn't it? Mate, it is. It's even the noise just like normal driving it's pretty comfy no. quiet it's like a nice volume like you need the exhaust has it got filters on aye but it's got K&N like panel filter aye. panel filter but not a cone on now nah I don't know what one of these would sound like with a cone on should be alright take the airbox off and give it a wave oh. take it out shall find out aye aye or shall I put a screwdriver down we could have a could have again <laughs> Is there things that go wrong with these and is there like things to look out for? Aye, uh, the, don't, the clutches don't like it, uh, but this has had an LS7 clutch put in. That was a couple of grand. Was it? Aye, that's only done barely 10,000 miles. Probably it's because people like you get them and fucking drag the tits off them and <laughs> burn the clutches out. I don't know if that happens. I've, I've, <laughs> I've had the occasional whoopsie on a corner, but that's... Dodgy clutch pedal or something like I think it's sticking, mate, aye. aye. It's like this hey, one's dad. quite slippy. <laughs> How the fuck are you learn to do that? <laughs> Alright Dad, slow down. You're all right. Bang in, man! Bang in! Got a bad at home, man. <laughs> fuck, no, I tell you what, you come to all these well, man, round that corner. You were saying earlier, it's a bit like the modern day Lowe's Carlin, isn't it? Which, uh, it's it how it is. feels, aye. Uh, it's massive, it does 175 mile an hour. Is that what they do on the books? Out the box, aye. What's not a 60 on them? 4.9. Is it? Mm -hmm. Pretty quick then. For a rear wheel drive as well. Oh, God, aye. And this one's running, well, it's a chunk extra power, isn't it? So aye. What other standard? 414, this one. Four, and this one's maybe 500. Touch it, maybe just shy, aye. aye. Well, it was 478, and then it's had these headers put on. Well, when I put the video up, it'll say 500 on the thumbnail, I'm sure. <laughs> it's going to be there or there about, right, I imagine. Be. Right. No, it's honestly, it feels quicker than what my me, uh, me C63 did. What power was that, was that like? Uh, mine was fi uh, over 500. Was it? Aye. Just that. Why well, I spot on it. Why well, Cheers for that. Anyone wants to see more of this car, Dan, you've got a YouTube channel? Aye, well... I wasn't going to do this today because obviously my exhausts. Aye, uh, and at the cats. So I wasn't going to do the one today. Uh, so me and Usher's wait until next week when I get the exhausts fettled and made a bit Get the cats put on. Aye. So will you put a video on your YouTube channel? YouTube 100% channel. it will well, be getting done. I'll leave a link to Dan's YouTube channel below if you want to check it out. Thanks for that little fellas. I'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Spot on, Dan. Spot Perfect. on.